Okay, so you have to ask yourself, in everything you do, what am I doing? All right, that helps out, um, filter out um, any unnecessary action, all right? You don't want any wasted action, all right? Think of it like a sport. <clears throat> so you don't want to waste money, you don't want to waste energy, you don't want to waste anything. So how you do that is you ask yourself, what are we doing? All right. So you're basically making a movie. Basically. Right. And what movies need is a story, is a good story. So what are we doing? We're making a movie. What is a movie? A movie is focused on a story, all right? So you want a good story, all right? Um, so, so what's the focal point of a story? In, in one picture, let's say, let's say this is one picture. What's happening? In one picture, what is happening, all right? So imagine this is the White House and this is the multiverse. So so what's happening? Right? In one in one scene, what's happening? Right? It should you should be able to read this immediately, right? Here's the White House and here's the multiverse. You should be able to read that immediately what's happening. Okay? So the reason why is when you show up, everyone at the White House just knows. Right? They don't have to second guess. They don't have to go, oh, what's happening? Oh, what's going on? They don't have to guess. When you show up at the scene at the White House, they immediately know what's going on. Right? You didn't show up in Egypt. You didn't show up in Rio. You didn't show up in Brazil. You didn't show up in the Amazons when, you know, they're not important people. You showed up at the White House, a very important landmark. All right. So when you show up there, they know you mean business. Right. You're not here to joke around. Right. You showed up at the most important landmark, the White House. Okay. So in this scene, you immediately read the story. Something big is about to happen. All right. So again, you ask yourself, what are we doing? All right. So the same with Catherine and her nonsense. What are you doing? All right. What are you doing? Are you acting like a child? Are you acting like a teenager? Like, what are you doing? Right? She doesn't ask her. She just does stuff and she doesn't ask herself what she's doing. What are you doing? You're acting like a child. That's what you're doing. So, in this scene, you can read what's happening. Something big is about to happen because you didn't show up randomly. You showed up at the White House. And it's not just one of you. There's a lot of you. Right? So keeping it realistic in storytelling and, you know, just wh whatever you have, right? You have Legos, you have a Pikachu, you have Sarah Ryder. Just whatever you have. Because let's be honest, you don't have superpowers yet, right? What you have on earth is all you have. Like, let's be realistic, okay? Um, you have not created anything yet. All you have are Legos, Pikachu, and a Sarah, a Sarah Rider. That's literally all you have. So use that, right? Don't come in with flying saucers, pretending that you're advanced when you're not. All right, that Apple Pencil is the most advanced technology. That White House is the most advanced technology. You are not. You're just here for school. 
right? You're a Lego, you're a Pikachu, you're a, you're a toy, okay? You're not dangerous and you want to come off that way, all right? You don't want to be like Catherine and try to pretend to be dangerous. You don't want to do that, all right? You're just a girl, you're not smart, be that. You're a girl that's not smart, just be that, all right? You are the multiverse, you are not smart, you're here for school. You want to learn from the White House. If you are not threatening, don't come off as threatening, okay? If you're not threatening, do not come off as threatening, okay? So the White House is the Apple Pencil, the most highly advanced technology. That's what you're showing here, all right? You're showing that, no, you are more advanced than us. We're just here to study, all right? We're just here to move into college. You call the shots. We're just, we're just saying, hey, we're here to come to school as well, all right? So it's not threatening, all right? So you come up, you come in your Legos, your Pikachu, your, your Sarah Ryder, and you're like, hey, we're just here to talk. Right, because we're trying to move into college. That's it. We're not here to threaten anyone. We're not here to overpower anyone, to overthrow anything. We're not here to be a threat. We're just here for school. We want to go to school. Right? So that's showing respect to the White House and that's lowering your your stance. Um because you literally do not have the technology that movies claim you have, right? The movies are like, oh, the multiverse, they're so advanced. No, you're not. You're really not, right? So you want to be realistic and you want to come across that way, okay? That's a good story, okay? So you're saying, out of respect, the White House is more advanced than us and we are just moving in. We're just toys. We're literally just toys. Look at that technology compared to toys, all right? We're just here to move into college and we want to talk, all right? We want to have fun. We want to play with the president. You know, we're playful. We're not a threat, okay? We're not a threat. We're just here to move in. So, so that's a good story, all right? In one picture, this, this scene here, you could read all that. Right? The White House is more advanced, we're just toys, and we honestly don't know what we're doing. Right? We're here for your guidance. Right? You're 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 supposed to guide us. Right? We're just here for we're just here for school, right? And you know, we have the creativity, we got a plane here, we got a Pikachu that we created, we got a Sarah Ryder that we created. Um, but we're not as advanced as the White House, as you can see. Even though we created a Lego. Even though we created Pikachu, even though we created Sarah Ryder, we're clearly not as advanced as you. Clearly, clearly, it is, it's, it's as clear as day, okay? It's as clear as day that even though we've created some stuff, we're not as advanced as you, all right? So we're here to learn, all right? And that, it's that simple, all right? There's nothing more than that, all right? So again, with Catherine trying to be threatening, you're not threatening, so don't don't come across as threatening, right? It's just it's just it's just so awkward for everyone, right? It doesn't scare anyone. It's just really awkward, all right. If you're not a threatening person, just don't show that you're threatening, right? So Min Min's a dork, right? Sarah Ryder, Min is a dork, right? He's not threatening. So you see the stuff he does is so dorky. He's just not threatening, right? And he doesn't come across as threatening, okay? And the same with me in this scene, right? I'm just toys, right? I'm just here to learn from the White House, right? Teach me how to be a leader, right? So Min is just a dork, but I'm here to learn. Right? Min doesn't care, but I do. I want to learn. Right? Min's just here because, you know, he's just, he just goes wherever everyone else goes. 
All right, that's just his personality. Um, but when you come off as threatening, let's say this thing's moving to be threatening. That's just, that's just weird and awkward for everyone. Don't do that. All right, sit still and just show that you're not threatening. All right, what's with the, I don't get why you need to show yourself as threatening. I don't get that. That's just not good storytelling. It, it, it looks like you do, you've never told a story in your life. That's what it looks like. It looks like, I don't know, I guess the plane should be moving. I guess. No, a plane should sit still to show that it's not threatening, right? It just looks amateur. Right? It, just, it looks like an amateur made that movie, right? It looks like you don't know what you're doing and I'm not going to hire you. Because you just don't know what you're doing. You're going to waste money. You're going to waste a lot of time. You're going to waste a lot of people's energy. And you just don't know what you're doing. Okay? So that's what Captain looks like. She looks like she doesn't know what she's doing. All right? So how you know what you're doing, she asks herself, what am I doing? I'm creating a movie. All right? And what's a movie? The focal point is a story. Okay? And then what's the story I'm trying to tell? Um... So that that's more clear. That's more clear of what you're doing. Right? What am I doing? I'm making a movie. What are movies? They they focus on story, right? You can tell that that person knows what they're doing. Wiggling your boobs randomly, like what is that? Like, what are you doing? Right? It's just breasts. Now, why are you so focused on it? you? You look like a child. You literally look like a child who saw breasts for the first time. Like, how long have you been alive? Like, it's weird. It's awkward for... You're an adult. You're an adult and you're acting like a child. That's awkward for everyone. For everyone. Right? Everyone's just looking at you like, what the heck is wrong with this girl? Right? So yeah, so that's, that's my block in of this story. Just one scene. Just this simple scene. Right, it tells a lot. So, um, for the multiverse, that's that's what I would do. And and you need attention immediately. And going to the White House gives you immediate attention because cameras will be on you immediately, it's like breaking news. Going to the Amazons won't get you attention, right? So that's how you block in the story and not waste time. Right? Go to the Amazon and then the White House. No, just go straight to the White House, All right? Um, so yeah, that's my blocking of this story. Um, you can use it how you want. Um, you can you can change it a little bit. Um, if you see anything that you can do that makes it your own, you can do that. Um, but I wouldn't fly. I wouldn't show that I have technology that I clearly don't have. Um, I'll just show that I'm moving in. I'm moving into college. And, you know, it's freshman year and we're just exploring the campus. Right? That's what I would show. Just freshmen exploring the campus. And then within that, you can do, you can, you could be in your pajamas. You can, you know, make it your own. Um, but that's what I would do. Freshmen exploring the campus. All right. That's, that's the simple story in this scene. Freshmen exploring the campus, right? So you're just wide eye at everything. Everything looks new to you. Everything looks like new technology. So again, uh, freshmen exploring the campus, and then within that, you can you know dress how you want or or anything like that. But keep it realistic. You don't have the ability to fly. You haven't learned that yet. Don't use it. All right? It's gonna come off threatening, and we don't want that. Right, because you're challenging someone else's power. Right, you don't want you don't want to challenge someone else's power. Right, you want to show respect. You have all the power. We're just here to learn. Right, don't come off threatening. Okay. Um. Yeah, that is that simple. Just um, freshmen exploring the campus, and just don't come off threatening, please, um, because you know you're not. You're not threatening people, so don't come off threatening. So, yeah.